What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God, good, great, awesome. All right, everybody. So this message has a couple of different pieces to it. And I'm just going to give y'all how this word came to be the dream in itself and more so what the Lord had to say. OK, so just bear with me because this is a very intense message and the Lord definitely had a lot to say here. So to give y'all a background on how this word came to be and what led to the dream the Lord gave me. Honestly, after everything that's just been going on with what the Lord has been having me do, all I could talk about with the Lord yesterday was how deceived people are, how people can't see, and it's like how scary it is that when the Lord points out certain things to people, they just do not understand or catch it. It scares me, and this is why I pray for the body of Christ every single day, and I've been praying for the body of Christ for a long time now with what everything going on in the world and just with the separation that the Lord is doing. And it's scary to me. And I understand why Moses' blood pressure was up 270 and why Paul yelled at the Galatians because when you are walking your calling and you see certain things, oh my goodness, it's like, how do you not understand that? How do, it's like literally... I'm sitting here asking the Lord, like, Father, what is the problem? Why don't people just take 15 seconds to ask you who is a man or woman of God or what is going on in any and every situation before they walk into it? It's not hard. You know, he was just talking to me about it all night until I fell asleep. But then after I spoke to him about it, I literally had this dream, y'all. So let me tell you this. In this dream, many people had a received message on their phones, a cryptic message. And anyone that had this message on their phone were viewed a certain way. Like people were looking at them in a negative light in this dream. So basically what that means is people had the messages on their phone and the Lord had given them the responsibility for those messages. But people looking at them a certain way means they saw such message, if that makes sense to everybody. So I was speaking to this man in a dream, which angels tend to use human appearances. They can't appear to be humans. So <laughs> um, I was speaking to an angel I could tell. And we were talking about how many don't understand what happened behind the scenes with these messages. So many don't understand how these messages come to be. So it was like a continuation of my conversation with the Lord. And we were talking about how people will be affected by judgment. So, you know, in the dreams, you don't realize, like, wait, what is what am I talking about? Why am I saying this until you wake up? Right. And the Lord then began to give me the interpretation of the dream. So before I even tell you all that, as I'm listening to the Lord, because I type these messages out on my phone, I'm about to show you all something. Because the Lord just knew how it grieved my spirit to see so many people just lost in deception like when you see that it's it's hard to look at so basically as i'm typing the message um a message comes up from this person's channel okay and this was around 2 p.m 2 11 right so by the end of the message i had screenshotted the message as well the time that i was typing out the message okay this message says on this channel it appeared in the notifications on my phone God said, let not your heart be troubled. He will prepare a place just for you, so don't give up. As I'm typing the message, because the Lord knows what I have had to deal with from people, what I have been going through with the body of Christ. So he literally did that. And even though he speaks, he still gives his other ways of confirmation just for people to understand. Like he will still do all these different things to confirm to you what he's talked to you about. But let's get into the message. 
He says, many of you have quite the opinion of the words I speak. You see many things that your caution with your words lack. Many of you will soon understand. I have watched every action, every word, and listened to every tongue speaking words against my messengers. I have given you many signs. I have given you eyes to see and ears to hear. Many of you claim to know me so well, but don't even seek me as you should. So he's talking about testing the spirits after everything, going into prayer and asking him, you know. There is a storm incoming. Many will learn. Many lack discernment. Hear me on this day. Anyone who has come against my messengers will suffer great consequences. Continue to throw stones. I will bring hell. Continue to enrage. I will set fires. Shall I continue? The fool speaks loosely. The ignorant becomes lost in deception. I cannot express how disappointed I am in many. Many of you spoke against the very ones that I have sent to help you through times of tough. This is why I will pull my messengers away. So basically the Lord has said this to me before, but if y'all don't remember my dream about seeing the calendar in three weeks, we are at the end of the second week here for whatever that was about. And it's been a whole test season, really from October, September, October to now, like it's been a, whole test season, but it's really been a finals test season within the past week or so. So in this three week span, we got one more week left for whatever he's talking about with this testing period. So the Lord was watching how people were reacting to the message he was giving and treating his messengers. So basically it was a test to see whether or not he would leave certain messengers in certain areas based on their treatment or pull them away. So you wouldn't receive help in that form in certain areas. So the Lord says, rid of the evil at times collide. I send you help, but you reject it. You will realize your mistakes. So this is what I'm gonna say. And I was also saying to the Lord as well. And the Lord put this on my heart as well to say, I've noticed that over the course of time when the Lord has given me personally encouraging words, yeah, the Lord encourages, but when he has to have his messengers do certain things that won't be viewed so greatly, he does watch. And a brother in Christ literally told me in a dream back in August, I believe, it was definitely months ago, that he had a dream that there were two lines, there was me and someone else and we both had lines of people in it so basically ministry right but the person next to me started doing things unfavorable to the lord and i was on the other side doing what the lord wanted me to do but more people started dropping out of the line that i was in and going to the one that was tickling their ears and this was told to me back in august and after that happened, the brother in Christ told me the Lord had removed me from that space and took me elsewhere. So it makes so much sense with what this message is saying, because the Lord really did send me to help people. But as of recently and what I've had to deal with from certain people, yeah, it's been kind of rough <laughs> from whether it's people from platforms or whether it's people from the body in itself. And I've noticed that, you know, when the tough things come through, people don't want to hear it. So I don't know if y'all remember, because another thing came to mind that the Lord reminded me of last night. And it was the dream I had about the Christian prisons. Now, that was just symbolism for persecution and all those attacks the enemy going to try to do to stop God's anointed people. But God's going to protect his children and messengers and so forth. You know, that was really the meaning of the dream. But in a piece of that dream, which had major symbolism, when the enemy was trying to kill and put God's anointed people to death, and there were many people cheering, like your own family would be cheering, all that stuff. 
I was in this seat with Marcus Rogers and it was like a roller coaster seat where they had the safety mechanism pulled down so you couldn't get out, but it was kind of like trapping you. So this thing was going downward into like they were going to try to burn people alive. But then the Lord ended up opening up the mechanism and saving us. And we ran out and people were afraid because we got free. That part of the dream where I was in the seat with Marcus Rogers was so significant. And in that moment, the Lord was also warning me because Marcus has a very, very strong calling upon his life. And he gets heavily attacked by people. So the fact that I was in the same seat as him in that dream, I thought about it and go, oh, my gosh, you was trying to, like, give me a symbolism, an example of what I was about to walk into months later. And when I look at everything happening and how I'm having to basically God is using me as a sword to cut through deception, people not liking it. And in turn, the way that I have been getting treated by people. That's basically confirming what the Lord gave me in a dream as well. So the Lord months ago was telling me what was about to happen, but I didn't know how that was going to fully manifest in the physical. And to top this message off as well, the Lord wants me to speak about Randy. So this is what the Lord wanted me to say about Randy when it comes to this red the horse situation. Many of you do not realize that the Lord sent Randy to help you because the Lord had this whole plan of how he wanted to help many people. And it was all a test in itself because Randy did not have a platform. So people didn't know who he was. A lot of you got to realize just because somebody don't have a platform don't mean that they're not walking in obedience to the Lord to do something. I've had brothers and sisters in Christ I know are hearing from the Lord tell me things Literally, in the time the Lord has told me something to confirm. I don't treat them no certain way just because they don't have a platform. So, Randy was sent to help many of you and direct and, and warn for you to heed and tried to help save people from what was going to happen. The Lord was telling him the whole time, but because he was somebody else in the telegram, people looked at him as if he was some enemy and some op sent to destroy everything because you didn't like what he was saying. And many people, even on these platforms, loosely threw his name out there as if it was just the thing to do. So check it out, because this is what the Lord had to say. Many of you that spoke against him and treated him like garbage, not knowing where he came from or if the Lord had sent him, you better get to repenting and repenting quickly. Because you do not treat somebody like that, that the Lord sends to help you. So everybody loosely is throwing names out there. The two names y'all hear from that particular situation is me and Randy. And do you want to know why? Because the Lord gave me and Randy the words to say openly. What he did was allowed others to do things privately, but he used the two of us, me and Randy both, to rebuke publicly. So because people didn't understand the behind the scenes to the messages that the Lord was given, you started to treat the help that God sent you like garbage. And people are going to pay for that. And he's let me tell you too. I just made sure I asked the Lord in the spirit, could I say this? I had a dream. This person was about to make a very, very bad decision. Okay. And me and this angel was trying to tell this person not to do it. Basically speaking against many people that they shouldn't have. And I looked over to the side at this angel and the angel was shaking his head and was like, they shouldn't have done that. They shouldn't have done that. Like this person shouldn't have done that. As if the angel was afraid of what the Lord was gonna do to this particular person. 
And I've never seen an angel do that before. You know, showing like, uh uh-oh, this is not going to be good. So all I'm going to say to all of you is you really need to be careful. Because I really don't know what the Lord is about to do in full to people for the things they've spoke against him. But I do know history repeats itself. That's the end of this message, though. Peace and blessings, and I will catch y'all in the next one.